Ray Condo and the Hard Rock Goners from Montreal. I only got one album of his, Crazy Date. This is his first album with the uh, Hard Rock Goners. He uh, released his first record when he was 16 years old in the band called The Peasants. Yeah, so, general music is rockabilly swing, uh, country, um, punkabilly, in there too. Um, known for put on quite the wild show. <clears throat> and uh, yeah, so Ray Kondo is actually his name is Ray Tremblay, but that's his stage name, Kondo. Um, born in May uh, 16th, 1950. Passed away on April 14th of uh, 2004. He also played in the punk band called The Secret V's or The Secret Fives. So, yeah. And then uh, also he played in uh, Ray Kondo and the Ricochets. <clears throat> yeah, he played in the punk band Secret Fives or Secret V's in Vancouver. And then he re relocated to Montreal on the form Hard Rock Goners. This is on Pipeline Records, probably not around anymore, Montreal, Quebec. So, let's uh, play another one. Whose baby are you, oh baby? Stuff. This album came out in 1986. I uh, wish I had more of his albums. Great band. They didn't make millions. They didn't sell, I mean, sell millions of records. But uh, they were popular enough in Vancouver that they, that yeah, Ray Kondo has a day in the year named after him. Ray Kondo Day. May 16th is Ray Kondo Day. Yeah, so, uh, I don't know, Rockabilly seems to be more popular in Europe than North America. Well, North America started Rockabilly and all that stuff. Hey, people down in Japan, they're Rockabilly crazy. You can see these guys, flat tops, papa doors, all these haircuts. <clears throat> I got a Stray Cats video, Stray Cats in Japan. See these Japanese young men, you know, pompadours and everything, like, wow, man, they're straight out of the late 50s, man. <laughs> oh, yeah. See, Europeans, Japanese, they know how to rock. What's wrong with you, North America? Huh? What, you like to listen to grunge? Blah, blah, Soundgarden? Uh, 
Um, <clears throat> what does Ray Kondo say about modern country music? You know? Ray says there's a lack on musical emphasis on musical heritage. And he was on a mission to restore r and r classics. If you listen to country nowadays, you don't hear that old country no more. You know, <clears throat> where's the yodeling? Where's, where's all that stuff in country? You know? So, yeah, he played quite often in the railway club in Vancouver. Um, so, there you have it. Yeah, a little bit of everything. Country, punkabilly, great mix on this album. Crazy date. Thanks for watching. Like and subscribe. Uh, <clears throat> I'll put a Facebook fan page link down below. And thanks to the owners. And thanks for watching. You can pick up his music on uh, Bear Bear Music, Bear Records, or Bear CDs. You know, uh, Bear, which is an uh, album that uh, is amazingly still around. Still, still around. Um, um, they, I have a Dorsey Burnett uh, CD, which is from Bear Records. Actually, Bear Records is actually a, a German label company, I'm pretty sure. And see, those guys, they, they, love, they love this sort of stuff. Come on, North America. Hey, all started, man. Rock and roll. Rockabilly, rock and roll. Come on. So, I'm going to leave you with, for the outro, is Push Button Boogie. Thanks for watching. After all, my YouTube name is Heavy Metal Punk Rock Roller. I love rock and roll. It's all related. Little more than little more.